this is your second full season with Sale and third in all. You've not really been able to, to get into your full flow yet, what with the COVID problems uh, within the season and then some injuries as well. Is this season, if you like, the real start to your Sale Sharks career? No, for me, I'm just, uh, you know, humbled to, to be able to play. Um, and, uh, you know, very really happy that I got the full pre-season, um, you know, with the boys. It's been tough. Um, you know, a lot of hard work's been put in. Um, and it's nice to go through it together um, as a team. You know, knowing that we, we put the work in, um, you know, free us up to, to, to go and, you know, especially... You know, me personally, um, like I said, always say before, with all the injuries that I have, I take it day by day and, you know, be thankful that you know, I'm, I'm able to do what I, I love. You know, it's, it's a bonus for me to 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 do what I love and, uh, and you know, um, it's not, not many people get to do that. So um, I'm really enjoying uh, playing rugby and, um, playing up here um, with, uh, with a good uh, bunch of boys. You mentioned the injuries. Are you 100% fit now? And when was the last time you were actually 100% fit? Because let's be fair, you've had more than your fair share of injuries down the, down the time. So can you remember the last time you were actually 100% fit? Um, I don't think anyone's 100% um, fit going into a game. If you... If you wait to be 100%, percent you you never play. Um, but, you know, I feel good, um, touch wood. Um, you know, like I said, we put in the hard work. Um, and for me and, you know, for, for all the boys now, we can go out um, on the weekends and, you know, the main thing that we say, let's go out there and enjoy it. You know, this is what we, this is what we were born to do. Obviously, you started against uh, Bath at 12, uh, moved out to 13. For you, is there any difference in the two positions when you play, or are you looking to bring the same things regardless of which number's on your back? Uh, the only difference is, is defensively. That's the only difference between 12 and 13. In terms of attack, um, you have to um, try and manipulate the defence. So depends where where your strengths are, um, then you, you can change around. So in attack, you can stand wherever you want. You can go in the scrum. You can go on the wing. Uh, but in terms of defensively, um, twelve and thirteen is very different. Just finally from me, um, London Irish are a side who, who like to put a lot of width on the ball. What are you uh, expecting? What what issues do, do they throw at this weekend? Yeah, obviously, uh, we're expecting them to to play that like you say. Um, you know, similar to, to Bath on the weekend. Um, they run a lot. Um, but for us, you know, defensively, we're, we, you know, we want to challenge ourselves. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, for us, it's a big challenge this weekend to to fill the field um, and try and, uh, and and defend well. Thanks, Manu. Manu, Liam here at Rugby Pass. Van Redsburg Brooks talking about um, your pre-season preparation, how you two went on a, a, a weight lab, a weight shedding drive, etc. You couldn't just give me some insight on what actually that happened over the course of the pre-season and how, how did you manage to lose weight and uh, are, are, you, are you at the weight you want to be for the rest of the season now or somewhere to go? Yeah, I guess um, after the, you know, the disappointing season, I mean, not disappointing season, but disappointing loss against um, Exeter, um, you know, uh, the beast, uh, Rowan, um, you know, he said to me, you know, he, he asked the question, do you think, you know, you were fit enough, um, we were fit enough to to play that game? You know, it, it was a, a tough question to answer, but... Um, it probably was is true, um, you know. Being the big centres, you know, you want to play, but you don't want to just get the involvement here. You know, wait for the next one. Um, you want to be involved, um, 
every time, um, you know, in defence, uh, in attack. So um, we said, you know, maybe we will lose uh, four or five kilos. Um, you know, that will allow us to 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 be involved a lot more. Um, so we set out to do that straight after the season, um, and. Uh, you know we're 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 nearly there. We're not there yet, but we're nearly there. Did you cut out anything in particular in your diet? Was there any any major change there? Uh, no, not really. Probably it's quite it's tough it, depending on the days that you train. Um, just trying not eat too much carbs um, and eating at a relatively early um, in the evening. Um, so that, you know, you have time to, to digest, you know, before you go to bed. Um, the guys here at Sale as well are helping us with, uh, uh, with our diets. So how did it feel to be lighter then last weekend on the return to the Premiership? Yeah, I feel good to be fair. Um, you know, I haven't played a full 80 for a while, so, um, it was good. It's it's good to, to move around and... Um, you know, it's good for the legs. Uh, the lungs were good, um, you know, but um, just getting used to it. Okay, thank you. Oh, Manu, um, you, you mentioned that it was a hard question to ask yourself. Is that because did you know deep down that you had more to offer and that you were, did you feel too heavy or anything like that? Um, yeah, probably, you know, couldn't do that. It was probably a bit you know, one or two kilos too heavy. Um, you know, running around for 80 minutes, those two kilos can um, weigh you down quite a bit. Um, so if we lose a bit of weight, um, and then that will allow us to, you know, to be a bit more mobile, a bit more agile, um, and, uh, you know, use less energy, a um, bit, bit more, efficient uh, in the way that um, you know we can play the game. Were, were, there, were there moments on the field that they were sort of, you were frustrated that you're thinking I, I want to I make more involvement here but I can't because I'm blind or anything like that? Yeah probably um, you know, especially you know when the games um, gets tougher um, especially on the weekend I felt a lot better um, you know mentally especially but I think for me, it's the, it's the way that we, we've been training in pre-season. Um, you know, going out there on the weekend when the game gets tough, it's just another day at the office. Just another um, fast and furious day. It's just another Thursday. So that's the way um, I try and, and think about it, going on the field, um, on how you how I train, how I feel in training, and take that into the game. And, and is it, are you having to be lighter because, is the game getting um, faster and the board and play time going up, does that mean that the way, the way the kind of games are going, does that mean you have to be lighter as well? Is it just the way? No, I'm just in? getting old, mate. <laughs> it's the old age, but nah. Like you say, the game's getting faster and you know, with the rules that are coming in, they want the game to be, you know, more ball in play. So, you know, you have to adapt yourself to that. Um, and for me, that's, that's, the, that's the only way to do it. Cheers, man. Thank you. Oh, Rano, have you had mixed messages over this down the years? Because I would imagine at times there have been teams that have wanted you to be that kind of big wrecking ball, um, crash ball runner. Uh, and wanted that extra kind of weight that you had on you, and is it is it a case of this is just what Sharks are looking for at, at the moment? Maybe what England wasn't looking for in the past. No, nah, you know, being that kind of uh, you know, Reagan Paul sort of centre, you know, it's not this. I'm I'm still still heavy, but you know, that's that's more uh, mentality. You know, you can be the smallest guy, you can run through brick walls. So, um, for me, 
I just want to get involved a bit more, but not not changing my game um, too much. I saw it um, at the age of about last weekend. You had, you had your kids there watching you back there. Um, I wonder yeah. how much kind of how much joy that's given you, and, and how much of a motivation it is to carry on playing, so they can actually see what you do rather than just reading about it in newspapers from yeah. past years when they're older. Yeah, it's the most amazing thing uh, for me. Like, is you know, in life, to be able to enjoy what I love, and and you have um, your family there with you. You know, my wife and my kids. Um, you know, to be there is um, it's it's a, it's a dream. So you know, I'm enjoying it up here. Um, you know, my number one support is there. Um, I see. <laughs> Didn't realise they were there. Um, I was just focusing on the game, and then after the game, I saw the boys all in one corner. I was like, "Oh, you know, family's here." I ran over to the corner, and my daughter is trying to climb over the <laughs> climb over the barrier. Um, so yeah, you know, really enjoying it. I really, you know, feel really blessed um, that I'd be able to do that. Is it important mm-hmm. that they that they uh, get a chance to see you playing in? Playing your best rugby, does that matter to you? Um, we, you know, it's important that they they see where I go every day because my daughter, some days, is like, no, don't go, daddy, stay home. <laughs> and, uh, um, so for me, yeah, it's it's uh, it's nice that they they can uh, they can come uh, watch me. Um, you know, it's where I go. Well, I go every day, so it's nice for them to, to see um, what that is. Just one more from me, Manu. When you, when you look to the future now, I mean, I know after all the injuries, injuries you've had, you tend to just live in the present and just do it kind of one day at a time. But do you have a chance in your own head to kind of look ahead to, to uh, following World Cups or future Lions tours, or do you not set goals like that anymore? Um... Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's kind of tough um, to try and uh, think about it, but um, for me, I I just have to 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 work hard and make sure that I'm doing myself justice. You know, if an opportunity come, you know, I'm ready. But if it doesn't come, you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm in peace with it. Okay, thanks. Hello. Um, you named in the uh, training squad this week. Um, were, you, were you surprised by that as, as you were surprised by the exclusion of George Ford? Um, you know, like, uh, for me, like I said, just gotta, he's just got to do what I do. Um, you know, whatever happens outside, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, but the, the, we always talk to, we'll talk about it here in, in sale. And, you know, Al's trying to, to build this um, amazing um, group of brotherhood. You know, you just got to keep to your process. And it's only you and the man in the mirror, God, that knows if you're being true to yourself. So you just got to keep to the process. Whatever comes after that. You know, it's a it's a bonus, um, and for me, I'm already I'm already in the bonus. I'm doing what I love, so whatever comes after that, um, you know, it's 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 amazing. And like I said, you just have to be to be ready and um, every day. Last month was the um, tenth anniversary of your England debut. It's been quite some journey, hasn't it? Jesus. I feel, I I feel old. That makes me feel old. <laughs> nah, yeah. <laughs> um, like I said, I enjoy it more now um, than than back then. I, I enjoy it more now. Uh, maybe because that because I'm getting old and don't have that many years left. Do, do you think that's because you're more relaxed about it now? Um, I think. You know, for me, knowing that, you know, um, I love rugby and um, I enjoy it, you know. 
Um, but I know that you no know, rugby is not everything uh, in life. Um, but as that doesn't mean um, I don't care. It, it means that I can come here, work as hard as I could. Um, if I do that, you know, the outcome doesn't matter. You know, it's the process. How many children have you got now? I've got two. Um, okay. I've got three-year-old uh, little girls, Gorley Lani. Um, her, his Hawaiian name, it means uh, heavenly flowers, but I reckon she should have been called Hurricane or something like that. <laughs> um, and my little boy, uh, Leo, uh, is named after my dad, um, my late dad, so... Um, they're they're all good. Do you think he'll one day join the Tulagi uh, rugby club? Uh, if he wants to, you know, it's up to him, really. Yeah. Um, mention about your inclusion. Uh, George Ford was somebody, obviously, that you played a lot of rugby with and played out of the skin at the weekend. Were you surprised that he wasn't in Eddie Jones' training squad? Um, I'm sure, you know, uh, Eddie's um, spoken to Fordy and um, for whatever reason, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure they, they've had a chat about it. Um, so, you know, I don't think there's anything to worry about. Just one final one from me on the, on the weekend. You, you got off uh, the season uh, after a winning start. London Irish were beating at Worcester. I mean, how confident are you that Sale are going to be up there challenging for the title? And uh, how important is it to, to win these games down in places like London Irish, Heath Stadium? Uh, sales sometimes have slipped up on the road in the past. Uh, how, how important is it to nail games like this? Um, you know, this is the most important game um, of the season for us. Um, and I, I'm confident in, in the work that we put in. You know, only ourselves and know that. Um, like I said before, we, we worked hard and, um, you know, we got a tough day on uh, Friday. Um, we you know we empty the tank and then um, reload and you know for us that free us up to to go down on the weekend um, and enjoy it. Thank you. Manu, can I just ask one quick one just on your um, summer weight challenge? Is, is is Eddie on board with slimline Manu or when you go into England camp do you expect him to shove you straight in the gym and put a big plate of red meat in front of you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've lost a bit of weight, but I'm not 90 kgs yet. I'm not 90 kgs. I'm still, still over 100. Um, now, nah, yeah, you know, he, he loves it. Um, um, you know, we had a chat with him, and you know, he said just keep fit and uh, and and play well. And you know, for me, it's what I'm trying to do, and hopefully, everything else will look after itself. But. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying just like being fit and, and playing and training, training with the boys. Voting for Ugo. You talk. You talk. Sorry, oh, no, I was just going to say, voting for Ugo and Strictly every week. Showing Ugo how it's done. Oh, no, uh, no chance, mate. <laughs> he looks sharp, though, hasn't he? <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, Ugo's got good feet, so I reckon he'll go well in that. Don't fancy Strictly one day then. Nah, man. Just, just you talked about carrying an extra kilo or two. Was it? Could you put your finger on why you carried an extra kilo or two? Was it the odd cake or Chinese takeaway or? Um. Like you know, I, I love my food. Was it, was it, was, were you eating bad, were you eating bad food or anything like that before you went on the diet, would you say? Nah, it's probably, you know, it's a mentality thing, isn't it? Um, you know, you probably think, oh yeah, you're, you're right, you'll be all right, you get through it. Um, you know, until you, you think about it and, um, you change your mentality and, you know, um, our challenge is here every day to, to be better. So you, you got to look at yourself and how can you do that? And, you know, the beast, Rowan, asked me the question and, you know, it's, uh, 
is nothing hurts than the truth, isn't it? Manu, one more for me. When you look at this squad that Sale have got and how long it's been since Sale won the title, do you put pressure on yourself as a group to to win a trophy this season? Uh, we we put pressure on ourselves to 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 work hard. You know, that's 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 what we do. We come in, you know, we, we do the work. You know, if you work hard it'll free you up to to do whatever you want to do, you know, in, in rugby and, and in life. That's that's the most important thing for us. Um, it's the process. Like I said before, if you stick with that, you know, 